everyone, I'm Addie. I'm Nate, behind the camera. Papa is home because it's too muddy outside for him to be here today. Amelia is squirming around right here on me, and we are the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. I'm really excited about today's video because you all said you really enjoyed seeing me fly the Delta Ray one. So I picked this out especially for me. This is the XKA800. It's like little ready to fly glider plane. We've had a little XK plane on the channel before and we really liked it. But this one stood out to me because it's Christmas themed or winter themed. Has the snowflakes all over it. I think it looks <laughs> that's, amazing. That's why I got it right there. It, it <laughs> looks. The only reason I got it looks plane. really good. It does I, look good. Like and that. another one of my favorite just looks aspects of it that I really like is that it says happy flight on the left wing. <laughs> but this has some other cool features. One thing that differs from this plane than the other XK glider plane we did earlier this year is that this has like a stability mode. They are calling it 6G. So it's going to have some auto level. At least that's what they're claiming. And then this is also going to have a 3D mode. So it's going to be able to do rolls. The cool thing about this plane is that the um, is that the wing is mounted on the top, so it's gonna make it more stable anyways, even without the stability mode. And then also you're gonna have um, on the transmitter a high, low rate for the speed. So it's really neat, all for about 60 bucks. We'll have this linked in the description box below, but I'm really excited to get this in the air, but let's see what else comes in the box. Also, this is a four channel plane. It has ailerons with the, um, servos mounted on the bottom of the wing, but they seem pretty protected for when the belly, when, when we do belly landings because the wing is mounted on the top. And then it also has the rudder on the back and the elevator. And then lastly, throttle with the folding prop designed to help save your props so it doesn't break. It's more forgiving when you land. So that's what makes it a four channel plane. This is a pretty common transmitter style for XK. It's just their basic, you know, not very fancy transmitter. That's probably my least favorite thing about this plane, but I don't think it's gonna really hold it back too much. Here's the battery. It has the balance port out of the side. It's a two cell with a Molex connector. It's the, a 7.4 volt, 300 milliamp LiPo battery. It comes with the USB charger. It's pretty basic for all these little $60 planes. It has a couple uh, screwdrivers. Actually, it has one. I brought that bigger one with me. <laughs> it has one screwdriver <laughs> that comes with the plane to help mount the wing on. And then it comes with the, an extra nose cone to make landings even more forgiving and an extra prop. So that's awesome. So you have a whole nose setup for if you do break the prop. But I'm going to guess it should be kind of hard to break the prop. I'd be surprised if I broke the prop ever. Also, here are the instructions, but this is a pretty basic setup, a four channel plane with a LiPo battery and it has stability mode. So I am going to go test this out. Bear in mind, Abby is holding a baby as she does this. Give her some credit. Thumbs up on that video for an amazing launch while holding a baby. She's walking back to us now while flying. Oh, it's so easy. The launch was easy? Oh yeah. Good. So, so it's in high rates right now, but with the auto stabilization on. They're calling 6G. You're dealing with some wind, aren't you? I am. Yeah, I'm just kind of trying to get used to it. Nathan challenged me today to fly lower, so that's going to be the goal. You're doing good. I mean, I can see you. We have a nice blue sky, know, sunny winter day. When it's cloudy, it's so hard to see the planes in the air. And so that's just gliding. This is no power at all. Okay. With the stabilization on. Yes, I'm kind of excited to turn the stabilization off. <laughs> Just so I can have more control over it. But it's super easy to fly. Like, that's what I like about this style of plane. First of all, it's cheap. So Very you're not cheap. gonna lose a lot of money if you do happen to have a bad crash. But then it's also super easy to fly. It's not too fast. You can slow it down and really kind of learn how a plane reacts. And right now, I've just been using aileron to fly. Other than <laughs> Other than throttle, I'm only using the ailerons, which is super nice that it has the ailerons. It makes it easier to control, in my opinion. I don't fly a lot with rudder, 
There was a turn with rudder. Okay, um, nice. But, it has a lot of control. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna try to get this to come down for you, but it's on the stability mode, so you can kind of see. When you give it throttle, it climbs. When you give it throttle, it climbs. I push down, and then it levels off too. So bear in mind too, guys, this has a brushed motor. And Abby is normally our camera person, so I hope this turns out okay. She's a much better camera person than me. <laughs> well, when you're comfortable, you know, you're doing a great job in the stabilization high rate mode. I mean, that's totally you, and well, you're, you're rocking it. One thing I didn't mention, you know, this is a 300 milliamp battery, but they claim on the website for it to have an 18 to 20 minute flight time. Granted, I think that's almost gonna be gliding the entire time with like no power almost. So I think I have time just to enjoy this too. So don't rush me. I won't rush you. <laughs> I do want you to have enough time to try. I'm, I'm getting ready. I was just trying like, to fly low for you. Yeah, definitely, get lower. You, this plane, even if you just smash into a brick wall, you're, you're not gonna hurt anything. It's flying slow, everything is protected in the back. Well, no, actually it's mounted in the front, isn't it? Really, it's not, this isn't a, it's pusher. not a matter of me crashing. It's a matter of me not wanting to have to walk down into Death Valley. Well, if that happens, <laughs> I I'll- if I crash this plane, it'll be okay. I just don't wanna make the, the walk of shame. <laughs> I'm gonna give a beginner tip for you guys because although a super advanced pilot could really enjoy this plane, it's really designed for beginners. So as a beginner, you should know that if your plane hits the ground or anything, a tree, whatever, as soon as it makes contact with something, cut the throttle completely. This is a brushed motor, whether it's brushed or brushless, uh, you never want to provide power to the motor while it's unable to spin because that is what's going to burn up your motor or ESC flight control board. I can't believe how good this is doing in the wind. I've lost, yeah, actually. Oh, there you are. We have like 10 mile an hour gusts right now. Mm hmm And this is doing really good. It really is. Went too far out. You're fine. I'm gonna darken this a hair and see if that helps. It's a little Let's lighter see. in the sky over there today. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna take it up there just a are. little bit because I am gonna try to do some rolls for you. Okay. Just to get used to it and then I'll bring it lower. I'm switching this, this 3D mode what they call it. Do you feel like you have more control? Oh yeah, look at that. You did a, a, a loop. Yeah, it definitely has more control. <laughs> Just kind of trying to get used to it. I it's okay. don't know if I can do a roll with this though. I just well, it has, don't know about that. The wing has dihedral, the curve to the wing. And that tells us that it even still has some auto stabilization built in. I think I could do a roll. I think you can, and I would be willing to try. Can I face the plane? It does, well, if you really want to be successful, the nose should be into the wind to help. There's no way it's going to roll. Look, that's full over. Oh my god. Okay. Gosh. There's no way that's going to roll. Okay. Right? That's well, let's give it another shot. Put your, put your nose into the wind, so the direction you're flying now, and try to roll it. No. No? Okay, well, uh, you want to try? I'll, sure. I'll let you try since I am actually attempting this. Yeah, no. I'll give it a quick shot. Right, I'll try one more time. Pull over. No. That's okay. Not okay. I'll put it in the stability mode. And then we'll pass it off. It off. Okay. I want to see if you can do it. Definitely Sounds good. Can loop, probably can loop for days, but it's just, it. it's just not gonna, it's just not gonna roll. Gonna get a quick feel for it. And I gotta find you. That's fine. Gotcha. Okay. All right, we had to cut out about 20 seconds there of Abby trying to find the plane. I can feel the wind pushing this like crazy. I mean, it's it's, Very windy. it's handling the wind really well. I'm happy with that. Maybe it could do but rolls if it wasn't so windy. So with the stability mode on, you clearly can't do any rolls or anything. It won't let it go upside down, and that's handy for a new pilot. But let's turn that off. And I want to try a loop just to see the kind of authority it has. Very nice. Very good loops. Can we roll it? I think with a mix of rudder, I might be able to. So oh, let's try that. Try let's that. try that. Let's do some. You're more advanced with rudder than uh, I am. Uh, there, kind of. Yeah, I did. Let me get it closer and one more try, okay? I'm gonna go full throttle here, and here we go. Kind of, yeah. Okay, so with oh, to... there's our canopy. It just fell off. No. That's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna keep flying. So basically, <laughs> to do that, all I did was give it 
left aileron and left rudder at the same time with the nose into the wind. It's left kind of an ugly roll, but watch. Aileron and left rudder. I'll get closer and we'll do it again. Here we go. Nose up and roll them both over oh. and we did it. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can do inverted flight one time. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna try that. Our battery might be low. It's feeling like I don't have much juice really? left. Yeah. But I'm gonna try it. Let's go inverted and I'm pushing full elevator and it, oh, it just didn't happen. I'm right on the edge of Death Valley. I'm gonna go you test are. the battery, grab the canopy and then pass the controls back to you. Okay. Okay, low battery. Just bring it back and land it nice and smooth. <laughs> well that was a lot of fun it was super easy to fly and i'm really impressed especially for the price tag a beginner would have a lot of fun with this the stability mode just worked and it worked really well it's just crazy 3d mode not so much it's a brushed motor you can do loops with this, no problem, but anything else, a no-go. You saw Nate crash it when he tried to fly inverted. It's just not meant to fly like that. I did rolls mixed with the rudder, aileron and rudder, but that's not really a true and roll. And it looked terrible. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I'm impressed. I wish I had the skill and knowledge to do that, but I don't, and I'm learning. Um, and that's what this plane is gonna do for you. It's gonna help you have some confidence to get in the air learn how to steer your plane and then you're probably going to want to bump up to a bigger trainer that's going to have stability mode and but you're also going to be able to turn it off and learn to actually do stunts with rolls and loops and flying inverted uh, but i like this the only issue is from the very beginning when we took the canopy off to put the battery in this black piece is supposed to stay connected to the canopy um it's just it just came off Fix it with a dab of glue and it'll be fine. And then it just snaps in right there. But that was the only major flaw with this plane. I think if you're a beginner and you're looking for something that's not gonna break the bank, that's gonna get you in the air and winter themed because I like winter, I like Christmas, so this makes me super happy, then this is gonna be a fun plane for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go have a happy flight and we'll see you in the next video. Say bye, Amelia. And everybody, let's give Abby a thumbs up. When have you ever seen a YouTuber fly? Or anybody? Anybody <laughs> fly with a baby strapped to them? Come on. She does good. She's waking up now, though. She lost her hood. She's ready to go eat, I think. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.